Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry if this, um, uh, premiere is coming out a little late. Uh, I actually <laughs> forgot to do it, uh, cause I was eating lunch at the time. So, I guess it's live at, like, three or something? I don't know, but, um, anyways, all we're going to be doing today is, um, doing some stuff on, uh, flip a clip and, um, doing some stuff for symbol lore. Uh, I actually am way farther in it than, uh, than I've posted. Like, right now, I am on season two of it, and, uh, I'm actually done with season one, so I'll get those uploaded week per week. Uh, but for now, we're gonna be working on season two. Right now, I'm working on a battle episode, kind of similar to Dude's number lore. Shout out to him. Go subscribe to him. He's an awesome dude. Uh, I just kind of got inspired by that. And, uh, yeah, uh, here's it so far. Yeah, that's it so far. Just still working on it a little bit. I'll get this frame. Then I have an idea. I might edit this a little bit in Vita, which is what I use to edit my videos. Right now I'm animating this at 12 FPS, if you guys are wondering. Uh, and, uh, thanks for all the support on Number Lore. You guys are insane, and I did not expect it to get that much views. So, thank you guys so much for that. Um, so, I'm just gonna talk about a little bit of upcoming things for the channel here. Uh, so... I'm definitely, I'm going to be posting uh, all of Season 1 of Symbol Lore, and then posting more of Season 2 week per week. Basically that. And I'm also, after Halloween, I'm going to get a bunch of more videos out, like, might start Octopus Trials, might go back to doing the Robloxian Trials, uh, a lot of stuff. that oopsies now for this song i picked uh no i mean for this battle scene oh oopsies what am i doing for this battle scene i picked this fnf's uh fnf zardy mods foolhardy just because it uh is something it's a song no one has ever used before for one of these little battle scenes that are kind of a trend right now um, ooh, is that a bee in my blinds? Okay, yep, that's a wasp. Okay, I will be right back.
All right, guys. Well, sorry about that. Um, I think we're going to be switching locations until we get uh, this bee off of my blinds because I don't want to get stung by it or any of the cats to get stung by it. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, the premiere still stays going even if we have a little bit of minor difficulties. But, yeah, we'll be fine. So, uh, just working on this little scene here. Uh, if you guys can't tell, no, and the Illuminati, which is a character you'll soon get introduced to, are having an all-out battle for, um, well, I won't, I don't want to spoil too much, um, so I'll just keep it a little bit of a secret. How much time have we been recording? Five, okay, f six minutes, so, yeah, I'll be fine. All right, so, let's keep going. Illuminati stab know a lot in this part. Now the only downside to the song is it takes a long time to get to the rock part, and that's when I want them to like really start fighting. But that might take a while. I'll just have no falling at this scene right here that color from the preset uh also uh earlier today mike salcido made uh the alpha belt lore epilogue which is like the best animation ever um so i might be doing a number lore version of that but i don't know Also, I have an idea for another number lore, but that got, that might be a weird idea. So I don't not I don't really think I'll do that. Um, here I'll get no right here falling. So let's see that part. I'll go from decimal point. Here's a little bit of sneak peek. Decimal point. <laughs> ah, no. You didn't tell me you had the yang. You have been extremely helpful in my plan. Thank you. For everything you've done, you useless piece of garbage. <laughs> Hashtag! <laughs> Hush! <laughs> Time to perish. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the battle scene starts. He's turning into various characters from the, um, the entirety of the lore. And they're gonna have a battle with um, the yin and the yang, but they're not going to be able to hurt each other because um, this yin is. and yang are opposites, and together they make pure balance. So yeah. Spoiling too much for you guys. How long have we been recording for? Let's see. Did you get the B? Alright. Alright, so nine minutes. I think I'll stop it. Maybe 11? Oh, no, All right, we're going back downstairs, people.
right, we're back downstairs. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Still working on symbol lore. Here, I'll stop right there and show you guys something else I made. Oh, no. Uh, I've been working on something called store lore. Um, well, I mean, I was working on it, like, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna finish it, but here's how it started. Ford. So that's Ford, the car company. <coughs> Toys. Us. This one's Toys R Us. I'm a Toys R Us. It's so weird to see something at this see FPS when I've animated at a 12 FPS. No. Supposed to be F Save, but it's Amazon's factory. Yeah. Spirit. Yes, yeah, Halloween. Barnes and Noble. Yeah. Yeah, it's not finished. I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna finish it. I may remake it in 12 FPS or something. Or some, I don't know. But um, anyways, here's some. Here's how I make some of my thumbnails. That's Spirit Halloween. Uh, this is the part one of Symbol Lore. I use the highlighter tool to make the shading. It's actually way easy. Really, really easy. Uh, here's the part two thumbnail editing thing. Made that. Uh. Here's the part three thumbnail, and uh, here's a sneak peek at the at part four's thumbnail. As you can see, part four is cracked into the cave, and ooh, I wonder if Illuminati is introduced in this episode. So yeah, that's cool. Um, I'm gonna make some designs for some new number lore characters if I ever make it. So. I guess I'll make that. Okay. So, I was planning one to kind of be like I. Small and tiny. Right there with one tooth. And one eye. Here, I'll make it square. I guess I'll do this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then, yeah, make one red obviously and then my idea for two was um kind of like some sort of rocket or something like this and he also is kind of like somewhat of a cyborg like this Um, so here, wait, I'll give him another cyborg part right here. Okay, and then, like, the metal would be, like, about this color or something. Give him a little bit of red. Um, give him this color. And give him some orange. Like, something like that. And then for three, um, I had something that looked like about this so then i give them an eye right there or something uh here wait oh better change my eraser settings um so yeah that was my idea for three let me just get them colored like that um then for four okay so for four uh, I wanted Forrest's voice to be, like, really deep or something, and I wanted him to look like this, maybe. Kind of like Z. Uh, I'm not sure, though. Also, if you couldn't tell already, decimal point is also supposed to look like Z. Uh, I guess I'll go up to ten for with these right now. Uh, oh, yeah, so five... I have an interesting idea for five. I want to turn five into a computer. And he's on Zoom. Oh, yeah. All right. And uh, um, the villain in this number lore, which would be seven, would pour water 
on top of five, making him glitch out and his computer to turn off. There we go. Like that, and look at the colors for the glitch stuff. Make this one red too. Okay. Oh, I have another one there. Okay, I'll make it this color. And I guess I'll make five this color right there. Uh, let's make the computer. Yeah, wait, hold on. Let me make the computer screen this color. And the computer this color. Okay, and then for six, I kind of wanted six to be a little terrifying. So I did this. I'm just going to give him an eye right there. Right there. Then get the color black. Something like that. Terrifying. I know. Here, I'll take the onion off so you can see it properly. Yeah. This is my plan so far. And then, seven. Oh, seven. I have plans for seven. Okay. Right, so I was making, I was thinking of turning seven into some type of goo, gooey thingy or something. Uh, let me see. Like something like this or something. I don't know. Um, here, I'll give him a little bit of a this color. There. So that would be seven. And then eight. I have no idea what to do with eight. But, oh yeah, wait, actually no. I did have somewhat of an, of an idea for eight. So, yeah. I wanted eight to look a little strange. So I kind of want him to look like this. He has that teeth. Something like that. I have no idea what I just did. Okay, it's something like that. Uh, and then nine. Uh, I have no idea. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I have a little bit of an idea. So. I'm kind of thinking 9 should just look normal. Or something like that. And then 10. I have an idea for 10. So 10 would have like this kind of smart kind of look. And uh, mouth would be there. And then we get so little eye right here. And get tiny glasses for the eye. And then we have so then we have a uh, big eye right here. Let's color that so I get that. How long have we been recording for? Let's see. Ooh, 18 minutes. That's not very good for my storage. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, then we have, yeah, so that would be 10. Here, wait, let's get that. Okay, so... Uh, thinking of her. No, it's too close to red. It's too close to oh, too close to one. Can't talk. No, oh, maybe more of a like. Uh, this color. One is no ten is pink, and then we got the suit. Okay, like that. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Uh. I'll turn off the onion so you guys can see this. So here's my new alphabet lore plans if I ever make this. Two, three. So here I'll do the voices. One. Two. Three. Four. Ba uh, uh, six. No, 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 no. Like, or something like that. I have no idea. 
Nine. Ten. I have. I'm so sorry you guys had to go through that cringe. Uh, but yeah, I have no idea. But um, I think I like two the best. He's pretty cool. All right. Well, um, that was. Uh, that was um. This whatever this premiere thingy was. I hope you guys um have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, uh, yeah.